When Harry says, I don't love her for who she truly is, Meghan falls. Hello friends and welcome to our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel where we provide you with the amazing news of the royal traitor pair, Harry and Meghan Markle. Harry and Meghan's romance started with a commotion and many believed that it will finish in the same way. The audience has been incredibly inquisitive over the previous four years about whether Harry truly loves and enjoys being with Meghan, a woman who has the devil's soul. Just like Johnny Depp fell in love with a character who never existed, Harry was also in love with a fictional character. If Meghan had really thought that Harry was smart, perceptive and sophisticated, he might have been onto her from the first date. This had happened to her a few times previously with high-profile men that she had attempted to bag. Megan had no time to waste because her calling card with suits was about to come to a speedy demise. She needed a rich husband. She asked her friend Violet about Harry. Is he kind? But what she actually required was a scapegoat. Megan quickly realized while lounging on the plush Soho house sofa that she could transform into any desired shape for this safe man or boy, Harry. Harry was still looking for a method to get back to that tempting chimera. But is he content? Just look at his face, 90% of the time for example. He is miserable. There is a narrow line between love and lust but I believe that Harry may have been in love with Meghan from the beginning. She was a self-assured actress with a wealth of life experience, unlike any other woman he had ever met before. She might have pampered and mothered him, in my opinion. Harry had been rejected twice by women who realised they could not handle the kind of life he would want them to undertake as his wife when he was in his thirties. He thought that Megan would be the perfect pick. Only Megan knows the truth about whether she loved him, but if she did, it was undoubtedly tainted by the hope of fame and fortune she believed the marriage would bring. She is a narcissist, first and foremost. I believe Harry has now experienced a harsh fall from grace. The lengthy criticism of his wife's words and actions the relocation to America, the assurance of a nice life and the potential to earn a lot of money have not gone as he had hoped. Harry has always been shielded from reality, therefore he probably never considered that his father may decline more funds. I don't think either of them anticipated being essentially demoted or being cut off from Harry's family, especially his father, brother and Catherine, whom he thought of as his sister-in-law. Surely this must hurt him. Whatever the state of their private lives are, the current circumstances must lead to significant issues between them. Even if their marriage survives, it will require a lot of effort. Even the closest marriage would experience stress due to the current circumstances. Even if it only benefits her, I believe Meghan will persevere. As for Harry, I am not sure, but only time will tell. The old Harry is no longer there, and I believe he is unhappy with how his life has changed and turned out. He appears to be very puzzled when he is in public, based on the look on his face. The outcomes are not what he anticipated. He wasn't used to receiving punishment for misbehaviour. He smiles when his mummy substitute is good to him, but when she is mean to him, his face falls. In California, Megan had promised him fame, fortune and a celebrity lifestyle, but all he has received is scorn and unpaid bills. His father taking away his allowance was the tipping point. How could he? It will have been a hard learning curve for someone who was shielded from the harsh truths of life until he was getting close to middle age, especially now because he shares a home with somebody who is only starting to reveal her true colours. I can imagine Meghan saying to Harry, you are so handsome, intelligent and seductive, yet your family does not love you anymore. You will be happier than you could ever think 
thanks to me. Hollywood will be clamouring for your appearance at their celebrity events and for interviews with them. We are going to be American royalty. I imagine Megan continuing and saying, now the question is, why do you forget your lines? Why do you constantly break up with me? When everyone is here to see me, why do you strive to walk ahead of me? Why can't you persuade your father to grant our requests? Titles and cash paid for security. Your family is to blame for the mounting bills. It is beyond a doubt that the whole British public is racist. In America, I am adored by everyone. You are preventing me from having a successful career. I sincerely hope that Harry is starting to understand who Meghan really is and that getting married was the biggest mistake of his life. Meghan was completely inappropriate for anyone to choose as their wife. Her inappropriateness, in my opinion, contributed to the attraction. Perhaps Harry finds it amusing to watch the men in grey become embarrassed and perplexed by this woman, and he finds her willfulness, rudeness and anti-establishment appealing. Although they initially had an agreement, I feel that Harry is extremely content in Los Angeles. He is probably assisting Meghan Markle in her efforts to become a household name and make millions of dollars just so that he can step aside and lead the calm life he claimed to long for. In her quest to find whatever it is she desires, she travels the globe. But things have not gone exactly as planned because Harry is the one that businesses want to sign contracts with. His narrative is the one Random wants to publish and Netflix wants their story with Invictus as the main character. Since Megan only owns Bench and Spotify, neither of which are particularly lucrative businesses, Harry must temporarily alter the partnership agreement and take on a more active role. Due to the COVID throwing a wrench in the gears and delaying their master plan, everything has been rushed. This situation may simply be in my head, but it explains why he follows his wife about at formal occasions and appears whipped. He longs for the time when he can work from home, watching his children, playing polo, walking dogs and juggling. We might infer from the aforementioned sequence of analysis that Harry rarely appears cheerful around her, in contrast to the upbeat man he formerly was. He's rarely been beaten down by her. Everyone knew he was a fool for ever being married to this witch, but he wouldn't listen to any of his friends. He is currently in a terrible situation and has lost both his family and all his friends. He appears to be the biggest fool ever right now. Harry might be smitten. Migraine fell head over heels with the idea of being a princess. And then after becoming a princess and realising how much work and devotion it took to become one, not at all what she had imagined, with tiaras and celebrity status, she made the decision to capitalise on her new status by selling merchandise like crazy. She believed that being extraordinarily affluent would make her a famous person. Fortunately, the Queen had different plans and put a stop to Meghan's plans. She love-bombed Harry to get what she wanted, and now she manipulates him to do what she wants. I don't think that she has ever loved Harry. She is a self-serving, greedy, cruel, bullying, spiteful narcissist, and an unappreciative, envious, out-of-touch dimwit, and this is a match made in hell. Do you subscribe to Harry and Meghan's shaky love story? Please post your comments below and let us know what you think. We sincerely hope you found this video to be useful. If you have liked it, do not forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you viewing this newsletter. But for now, I will say goodbye and see you in the next videos.